around 920 F-35 fighters have been produced since the start of production. The more F-35 are built, the lower their price, and the more efficient production becomes. The first production F-35 finished the first flight in 2011, with deliveries starting the same year. This assembly hall is equipped with state-of-the-art machinery, specialized tools, and advanced technology required for the assembly of the F-35. This includes computer-controlled machining centers, robotic systems for precision assembly, and automated systems for painting and coating. Fort Worth Air Force Plant 4, located in Fort Worth, Texas, is a key manufacturing facility for the F-35 Lightning II, also known as the Joint Strike Fighter. It takes approximately 42,000 hours of labor to build one F-35A fighter. However, it also depends on the specific model. The United States still maintains the largest F-35 fighter jets fleets in the world, with more than 450 F-35. The assembly hall is so large that employees need to use golf carts for transportation. The Fort Worth Air Force Plant 4 serves as a critical hub for the production and assembly of the F-35 Lightning II. Through advanced manufacturing techniques, rigorous testing, and collaboration with international partners, the facility plays a pivotal role in delivering advanced combat-proven aircraft to the United States Air Force and its allies worldwide. The green color seen on certain areas of the F-35 fighter jet during its manufacturing process is often referred to as green primer or temporary protective coating. The green primer serves as a temporary protective coating applied to specific areas of the aircraft during the manufacturing process. It helps protect the exposed metal surfaces from corrosion. Before the F-35 undergoes its final painting process, the green primer provides an initial layer of protection during the assembly and testing phases. It allows the aircraft to be handled, transported, and prepared for flight testing, without compromising the integrity of the underlying metal surfaces. The home of F-16 production, the F-16 fighter jet, developed by Lockheed Martin, is one of the most successful and widely used combat aircraft in the world. The production process begins with extensive research, design, and engineering to create the F-16 fighter jet. A team of engineers, designers, and aerodynamic experts work together to develop a high-performance aircraft with advanced features, including agility, speed, and advanced avionic systems. Once the design is finalized, the manufacturing process commences with the fabrication of various components. These components include the airframe, wings, fuselage, landing gear, engine components, and control surfaces. After the components are manufactured, they are brought together for final assembly. The assembly process takes place in a specialized facility equipped with advanced tools and machinery. Skull technicians carefully fit and join the various components, ensuring precision and adherence to strict quality standards. Once the production and testing processes are complete, the F-16 fighter jets are delivered to the respective customers. The aircraft may be customized according to the specific requirements of each customer, including avionics configurations, weapon systems, and paint schemes. This is footage from F-16 durability testing. After 25,000 hours. 
Drypani has the powerful GEF 414G engine, great range, and the ability to carry an impressive payload with its 10 hard points. The Gripen E is a modern multi-role fighter aircraft manufactured by Saab, a Swedish aerospace and defense company. The manufacturing and production process of the Gripen E involves advanced technologies, efficient production methods, and a focus on modular design. The Gripen E begins with an extensive design and development phase, where Saab's team of engineers and experts work on creating a high-performance fighter jet. The design process includes aerodynamic optimization, structural analysis, and advanced avionics integration. This manufacturer focuses on modular design principles, enabling easier production, maintenance, and future upgrades. Once the design is finalized, the Gripenese manufacturing process starts with the fabrication of various components. These components include the airframe, wings, fuselage, tail sections, landing gear, and avionic systems. Saab utilizes a combination of cutting-edge manufacturing techniques, such as computer-controlled machining, composite material layup, and additive manufacturing, to produce high-quality and lightweight components. The assembly of this fighter jet takes place in advanced production facilities. Skill technicians carefully assemble the manufactured components, ensuring precision and adherence to strict quality standards. The aircraft systems, including the engine, avionics, radar, and weapons systems, are integrated during this phase. The modular design of the Gripen E facilitates faster assembly and simplifies the integration process. Before the Gripen E can enter operational service, it undergoes a series of comprehensive tests and certifications. These tests include structural tests, flight tests, avionics evaluations, weapons systems integration, and performance assessments. The Gaviao Pixoto plant factory in Brazil serves as a testament to Saab's commitment to the Brazilian market and its partnership with Brazil. Through this facility, Saab contributes to the development of Brazil's defense industry, technology transfer, job creation, and the manufacturing of advanced Gripen fighter jets. The Assault Rafale fighter jet is a state-of-the-art aircraft manufactured by Dassault Aviation, a leading aerospace company based in France. The production and manufacturing process of the Rafale involve a combination of advanced technologies, skilled craftsmanship, and rigorous quality control measures. The Rafale production rate remains at a relatively sedate 14 per year for the time being, but a major increase is foreseen from 2027. The Dassault factory in Nagpur boasts advanced infrastructure and manufacturing capabilities. It features modern assembly lines, specialized machinery, and high-precision manufacturing processes. The facility incorporates cutting-edge technologies to ensure efficient production and adherence to international quality standards. The factory employs a skilled workforce comprising both Indian and French technicians and engineers. These professionals are trained to meet the stringent manufacturing requirements set by Dassault Aviation. The collaboration between Indian and French experts facilitates knowledge transfer and enhances the development of India's aerospace industry. The Dassault factory in Nagpur, India, serves as a strategic manufacturing hub for Dassault Aviation's operations in the country. Through its joint venture with Reliance Infrastructure Limited, Dassault Aviation contributes to the growth and development of India's aerospace industry, while fulfilling its commitments to defense procurement contracts. Before the completed aircraft can take flight, it undergoes a series of rigorous tests and inspections to ensure its performance, safety, and reliability. These tests include structural integrity assessments, engine tests, avionic system evaluations, and flight simulations. Dassault Aviation follows stringent quality assurance protocols to guarantee that every Rafale fighter jet meets or exceeds the required standards. Once the production and testing processes are complete, the Assault Rafale fighter jets are delivered to the respective customers. The aircraft may be customized according to the specific requirements of each customer, such as avionics configurations, weapon systems, and paint schemes. Dassault Aviation also provides comprehensive after-sales services, including maintenance, technical support, and training to ensure the operational readiness and longevity of the aircraft.